now let us study what are the methods to control the excess demand and the deficit demand now let us see what are the measures to control the excess demand and the deficit demand so there are certain measures from which we can control excess demand and deficit demand because neither excess demand nor deficit demand is beneficial for the economy so let us see what are the methods now first method is fiscal method or fiscal policy methods which are involved or which are involved with money so first is change in tax so when there is aggregate demand what happens and when there is aggregate supply what happens let's see that so in case of aggregate demand we have to remember prices are rising because there is already excess demand in the economy so in case of aggregate demand or let's say in case of excess demand in case of excess demand and in case of excess supply so in case of extra demand and in case of deficit demand so we need to study what happens when there is excess demand which is nothing but ad is more than as and when there is deficit demand which is nothing but ad is less than as so in case of excess demand there is already more demand than require so people are demanding more and more that means they have more money prices are rising people have more money now in order to reduce this excess demand or in order to bring back that to the equilibrium what government does is government increases the taxes government will increase the taxes so what happens is let's suppose this is situation 1 wherein income was 10000 tax was 1000 so the consumption is 9000 now 9000 is what is his disposable income now in this situation that is situation 2 the government increase the taxes income remains as it is tax is 2000 so now the consumption will be of 8000 rupees which will eventually reduce the consumption so by decrease in taxes or by increasing the taxes consumption will decrease and it will be vice versa so now in excess demand we have to remember these two things that prices are rising and people have more money to buy goods and services so the main aim of government is to absorb that money from people and how will government absorb that money by increasing the taxes so when taxes are increased consumption will be less which in turn reduce the demand or which in turn will bring back the demand to the equilibrium level so now what happens in deficit demand remember prices are falling people don't have money people have no money to buy goods and services and next is businesses are not earning profit so now if there is a situation one income is 10000 tax is 1000 so they are spending 9000 so in case of deficit demand government will reduce the taxes so now what happens when government reduces the taxes so in situation 2 income is 1000 and the tax is 500 so now they have 9500 rupees left with them so they have extra money with them so or what we what they will do with that extra money is that they will start buying goods and services so eventually people will start demanding more and everything will be back at the equilibrium so remember change in tax is a fiscal method of controlling excess demand or deficit demand so in case of excess demand there is increase in taxes and in case of deficit demand prices are falling so government will decrease the 
Dikes.